Where is the starter for a fluorescent strip light? There it is there. Look mummy, I found it. It'll be on the side somewhere, probably. But wherever it is, it'll be sticking out like that. You take it out like a bayonet light bulb. Cut. You take it out like a bayonet light bulb. I think it's a capacitor, so don't touch the ends because you might get a shock, maybe, I don't know. Do the same to put it in. With mines, it seems I keep the writing in the top and then and now I'll put it back in. It seems that the pins are straight, so I'm trying to get that slide like that. Fluorescent tubes are history now anyway, you want to be changing them for LED strip lights which are, you can get retrofit ones that are, you can retrofit ones that are compatible but you need to find out if your ballast is either a magnetic ballast or an electronic ballast but from what I've read magnetic seems to be the cheaper type and they're not so good and most of us probably have magnetic but you need to find out for sure. The next part of my video will contain flickering light. Apparently magnetic ones seem to flicker in video cameras so you could probably check with your camera, your phone camera, like this one's flickering and it seems that magnetic ballasts work at 50 Hz which is why you're seeing this flickering because 50 Hz isn't that much whereas ele electric ballasts work at 20,000 Hz which is a lot and you won't see any flickering at all, not even in a camera so I think most of us probably have magnetic but you need to check do a google search on it so if you're retrofitting a fluorescent thing here the, with the ballast all still together and all that you'll need to know whether it's magnetic or electronic but you can get an LED strip light to replace it as long as you know that information and all the other stuff like the cap size and stuff but it's pretty easy now and it would cost you, the new light would cost you an LED light £10, between £10 and £20 and you'll also need a dummy starter motor for it even though the LED doesn't use it the starter I don't think it needs to have something in there to probably to connect a circuitry so banish fluorescent to history and get yourself an LED light which will be brighter and lumens but will use half the energy of a, your old fluorescent strip light and it also doesn't flicker and switches straight on and off you're looking at a, an old fluorescent bulb here and also LED lights, they're not glass and they don't smash, they're made of plastic and you don't need to worry about bringing it home, they will smash or whatever, because it's not like, it's not glass. I have no expertise, I'm just telling you what I found out when I replaced this, this week, but this is still the old fluorescent light I've put in at the moment. This is the LED replacement. The dummy star came with it. Much nicer. No flickering. Straight on. Brighter. I'm happy. If replacing a fluorescent strip light, best practice is 
suggested to get a new a new starter when you replace the light as well because if your fluorescent light's dodgy it might be your starter rather than the actual light but in an LED strip light the starter doesn't matter because this is a dummy it doesn't take part it's just that something needs to be in there for the circuitry to work so a starter will never be the problem in an LED strip light because it doesn't do anything but you still need to have that in there to make the circuit work guys for LED lights the dummy starter usually comes with it <laughs>